In this video, we're going to talk about what is multi time frame analysis. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So what is multi time frame analysis? You might have heard about it, you might not have. What does it mean and how can we use it to become better traders? In a nutshell, it basically means taking a top down approach based on the time frame we're trading. So we're looking at a chart. We start off with a daily chart. So we start off with a daily. And we look at that chart and we say to ourselves, is it an uptrend? Is it in a downtrend? Is it up? Is it down? Is it sideways? You know, what is it? Where are the key levels? Have we got resistance above? Have we got support below? Have we got, you know, what is the structure of the chart? All the normal things that you and I will both do if we look at a chart, eyeball it, write down what we need to write down, just take the notes. And then we step down. We step down to a lower time frame, and that could be again this is very subjective and it's all very personal but you could go down to a four hour so you've got your gbp usd whatever it may be and then you do the same thing you say is it an uptrend is it in a downtrend are we in a range bound environment where are the key levels on the four hourly what have we been doing what's the volume like you know what's the participation like uh, all the usual kind of stuff again that we do we then step down again to a one hourly or a 60 minute, however we, it works on your trading platform. And we do exactly the same thing there. We go down again to the time frame, And the idea is we're working our way down to the time frame that we're making our trading decision on. So let's say we're even a day trading. We're trading off a one minute chart. You could be. We're going down now to a 15. And then we're going down to a five. And then we're going down to a one. Now, we don't have to have all these steps in, of course. And perhaps if you're a swing trader, you might only go down to the 60 minute. Or if you're a day trader, maybe you're not as aggressive as a one minute guy. Maybe you're kind of looking for one trade a day. You might only go down to a 15 minute or a five. You get the point. The idea is you're going down and you're analyzing the chart as it goes down. So why are we doing that? What is the point of that? Uh, that sounds all very well and good, but why would we do that? We're doing that because we're looking to find something that fits the criteria on every time frame. If we're looking to go short, for example, and that's not strictly true, let me just put that into perspective. If we're looking for a nice short, for example, and we see it's a nice short. So on a daily, we see a nice downtrend. Great, looks great on a daily chart. We then go to a four hour. And we see, again, you know, a downtrend for the last however many days that puts into our trading window. And then let's say we go down to a 15 minute and we see a bit of an uptrend. We might be interested in that because we might say, yeah, you know what? We're up or, or we're coming up to not an uptrend. Let's say we're coming up to a resistance level. We're coming up to a resistance level. Do I want to short it there? I probably do because on my higher time frames, we're in a downtrend. This is just a pullback. It looks quite bullish on a 15 minute. But if I look at it from the bigger picture, look at the daily, look at the four hourly, we're actually in a downtrend still. We're just pushing back to resistance levels. That might be a much better short for me than if the daily was in an uptrend, the four hour was in an uptrend, the 15 minute was an uptrend. Would I want to short that? That's exactly the same pattern. Assume that is exactly the same pattern in front of your screen uh, for both examples markedly different. This, I don't want to short it because I'm in an uptrend. Why would I want to short an uptrend? You know, okay, maybe there's a strategy for that, but broadly speaking, I'm not going to want to do that. If I'm in a downtrend, am I going to want to short it? Yes, I am going to want to short it if I can find a good entry. Can I find a good entry? Actually, the 15 minute is giving us a nice little entry. And we can do that with any time frame. We can kind of have all that down, then look at the five minute if we're scalping, or one minute if we're scalping, or if we're swing trading. Maybe we're just on the daily and the four hourly. The daily's on a downtrend, the four hourly is pushing back up. Um, and it's pushing back up in the, in, the, in the context of the daily, not very much. We may want to go short. Now, we may have a situation where things are mixed. We may have a situation where daily's kind of choppy, four hours uptrend, 15 minutes in a downtrend, and we can't see anything to, to take the trade. This is when we just pass on them. Most of them are going to be ones we just pass on and get rid of. We don't trade at all. Uh, you know, that's absolutely fine. This is why we do this kind of thing. It's so that we don't lose sight of the bigger picture, guys. We know where the biggest money flow is happening and finding a, a decent way of getting involved in that on the lower time frames. We use the lower time frames because we, we want to finesse the entry a little bit. However, we're trading it. We maybe want to trade it on shorter uh, trading, trade hold time. So that's why we use the lower time frames. But so important to keep checking these. Now, do we have to check these all day long every time? No, we don't. But at least we know, hey, 
this stock, this market, this currency pair on a daily is doing this. So I'm now only going to look for X on my lower time frames. So that's multi time frame analysis, guys. It's going from the top, coming down, making sure that things line up for you on different time frames you're looking at. Because it's very easy to have a blink of view and see just what you want to see, when in reality, it could be the worst thing in the ever. You kind of go short, which looks like a great trade on the 15 minute, but on the daily and the four hourly, it's just a very strong uptrend. Chances are you're going to get run over flip it on its head and take it in a nice downtrend to push up to resistance level, maybe at a bull flag, a bear flag scenario. I'd take that trade all day long compared to that one. All right, guys, comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you use multi time frame analysis. Uh, if not, what do you do? Interested to hear what your strategy is. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye.